Hello and welcome everybody to Nickel City X Wing and continuing coverage of XTC 2021. Today we've got Ander versus Stan, Spain versus Malta in a game seven. This is already and it's it's for it's for two Spain, but you know. Malta's playing for pride, and they're a prideful nation, and I am not alone. I am joined by the one, the only Sith from the Tauntauns. What's up, buddy? I'm good, Greg. How's yourself? Hello, everybody. Uh, good to be here. And I was going to go to Malta in two weeks, but I can't. So oh. that sucks. Oh. So because of that, I'm going to cheer for Malta. I don't even care what they're playing. I'm going to cheer for Malta. <laughs> I've heard that uh, going to Malta is very expensive, even from Europe. Uh, it is, but it's worth it. Like, it's it's a really gorgeous island. Um, it's really nice. The people are fantastic. I have been before, and I'm gutted that I'm not going again. But we will do it next year, just like I said I would do last year. It, there must be some sort of pandemic, Greg. I can't figure it out. Yeah, I don't know what's happened here. Like, well, I went out last night, and, like, people were like, it's so nice to be back. And I'm like, what do you mean, back? Did we get a dice roll? I have no idea why dice are being rolled. And maybe they just want to try out your, your beautiful dice tray. Which, actually, I've got to say, thank you very much. You gave me that dice tray. Oh, well, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> People can have the it, dice it, tray. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. HMPs. Man, there's green dice all over the board. This is going to be great. This is just going to be a great game. I really have no idea what they're doing. I wonder if they're just testing out the dice because I have like custom dice skins. Yeah, sure I love your stream. I, I love your mat. I love the way it's all all logoed up. Uh, I I love watching you stream at the best of times, and I'm delighted you're part of the streaming crew as well because you guys put on a super solid stream at the best of times, and you haven't put out a bad stream in XTC. So uh, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it, man. Like uh, ever since uh, Spectrum actually fixed my issues, it's been going really well. Been very fun. Cool. And these XTC matches have been so much fun, like just crazy amounts of fun. Like, I am. Um, I did one this morning. Uh, it was a key one. Uh, Ireland were uh, three two up after being two zero down against uh, Croatia, mm. and uh, Ireland managed to take out a win in the last couple of turns. Wow. Uh, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it really, it was one of those hard attacking a bum games and we seem to be having those nearly every match but we're three zero so pretty good we're in the same team uh group as england and canada so a, a good start yeah you gotta you gotta get those wins in these divisions while you can it's so the, the parity across all these groups has been massive yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's been some brilliant games, uh, some real shocks like Germany losing a game, Poland have just lost a game, which to the Europeans is a bit like, you know, the LA Lakers going 1486. Uh, Poland are great. <laughs> so uh, well done, well done uh, to their opponents because they absolutely hammered them. They were 4 0 up. Wow. Maybe, maybe Poland was like, yeah, we're going to take this week off. No one, don't tap. No. BB. I, I don't BB. know. That, and that's... It's, it's, it's in peace. Oh my God. It's not Zango. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I think, At least I think the, the double player, fire right? sprays are probably amongst the most popular of lists in the this group. That may be the resistance um, rose with X-Wing. That that's pretty pretty group. big for resistance. Yeah. Um, if you're flying separatists and Django and Zam, in my opinion, if it isn't the best list in the meta, it probably should be. But bring out four HMPs with all that along the side. I mean, you know, mag pulses and clusters, and oh, it's that's that's making my soul feel a good. A lot so. of a lot of shenanigans. I do like the inclusion of Kraken on the Geonosian prototype. He probably sacrificed a whole other HMP to get Kraken Just, in this list. Uh, but it, yeah, it's there's worth a it. lot of five seconds, but oh, Kraken is cracking. Never mind Kraken. He, mm. That just makes so much of a difference to the to the entire squad. So, um, oh, they're getting ready with all their, all their thermals. That's very, very 
it's nice to lay out your way. bombs beforehand so you don't have to go like searching for them you know very true but then you have to do eight of them and you, you might not drop all eight but I, i'm all for that be be fully prepared be be happy in your days so um obviously i'm in in the game um which which country is fine what yeah so let's uh start with spain and ander which is a great name <clears throat> brilliant name. we have got django fett in the fire spray with lone wolf jamming beam chancellor palpatine Thermal detonators and false transponder codes. Again, both of these fire sprays, of course. That's nice. And then we have the the star of the list, if you will, Zam Wessel in the fire spray with a jamming beam, Count Dooku, thermal detonators, and false transponder codes. You want to take Malta? Uh, sure, I can take Malta. So uh, over on the other side, uh, we have four HMPs led uh, by... Uh, Geonosian prototype, who seems to be called Cannons for some strange reason. Anyway, he has repulsor lift stabilizers, uh, synced laser cannons, and Kraken. So that is the red one. Uh, keep your eye out on that. That'll be the one that Malta will want to keep alive. Then there's uh, a Bactoid drone, again with repulsor lists, uh, Magpulse warheads, cluster missiles, and four thermal detonators. And I'm pretty sure that is the same all the way across the board. Uh, with the other, but there is a probe droid uh on green uh green, green's got ions and probed ions and cluster yeah. missiles with probe droids and blue is ion cluster missiles and thermal detonators so there's a lot of so shenanigans the of yeah there's a lot h and those struts will be helping out so much so that 180 arc <sighs> too that kind of negates the boost from the fire sprays that like to boost out of arc while using their back arc. Yes. These 180 arcs keep it tight. And with all these munitions, a lot of ways for these HMPs to be rolling more than just their standard two primary attack. Absolutely. So as you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, look at all those charges all the way along there. So every single one of those yellow as you know, there's four above the thermals, there's four above the clusters. A cluster missile will also give you three out the front. That's a really well designed list, and it looks like uh, they're off. A well, pretty standard two hard opening, flip the foils. You kind of like do that shimmy down the board, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, I've seen them flown in one of two ways. This would be the first one. The other one's where you just hog the board edge and uh, just don't take anything and make ships come to you. But I, I like that as an opening start. When I play with HMPs, I like to do, I think what you just said, I like to get them like a too hard-ish off the board, go straight until I feel like there's combat and then side slip to the board edge to kind of reorientate myself so everything's always in front of me. Yeah, so you've got four arcs, you've got munitions as you've built it right like Malta have. So uh, Relative Shoot is a good player. Like I, I've actually seen him on XTC streams uh, over the last couple of weeks. This guy can actually fly ships. And the customer yes, moving the moves. tokens aside, that can only mean one thing. This is a DRK probe droid. 100 percent and uh there it goes and this helps out these hmps so much yeah it's such a good upgrade for hmps to their, their ability i thought honestly i thought it was like trash when i first read it and then like i started playing it and i'm like this is so good it's so the, good. The uh, one of my best friends from Malta is uh, Donald Whisper, if you've ever seen him on like uh, GSP events, and a really good player. This is probably his favorite list on Earth, and I actually texted him earlier going, get on the Nickel City, your boys are on screen, so uh, I hope he's watching. Hey, you out there? We'll find out in 90 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't we all just love the 90 second? I've actually put mine down. I, I've been a bit sneaky. I'm only doing it at the minute because 90 seconds in a game where there's a lot going on, uh, you can lose a bit of chat, especially if you're commentating by yourself. So I've actually knocked mine down to like a minute and it's made interaction with chat a lot easier. 
Um, so they can keep me if I've missed a shield or something from the overlay. So uh, looks like they're all ready to go again. Yeah, system phase. These rogue droids will move. You gotta, I gotta assume Zam just doesn't want to joust here. Or maybe she does. Maybe I, she's like, give me my charges. I'll hit you twice. Yeah, I mean, it, she starts with uh, four charges because she's the actual fa pilot in the fire spray, <laughs> unlike when she's crew, where you only get the two. Uh, but just as with the crew, two get pierced down. But she is ready to rock straight away with a return shot. But yeah, put down uh, the one of the cards. Uh, you'll get a charge back and... Um, a target lock and if somebody else shoots again well then she's fully charged and she goes to time so there's the movement of the probe droid which is i wonder if they're wondering bit. if probe droids trigger obstacle damage and they don't they do uh, not i wonder if that's what that ping on the asteroid is uh and of course we can't say anything awesome. about it so <laughs> no we, we 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 can't get involved in that and uh, there's a lovely First yeah. side slip of the game. Love it. Brilliant maneuver. Absolutely brilliant. It reminds me of just Gurry on on drugs. That's fabulous. I will say I do like Zam's positioning here too. Perhaps yeah, I mean yeah. I don't know if it's a it's a standard thing, but like I I'm thinking he probably knew those probe droids were coming, and he Zam is way out of range of a probe droid right now. So not oh, giving yeah. these HMPs a chance at an early lock. Alex Proton, thank you for the follow. And Milo PK, what's up? He's saying go Ander. I should, I, they are saying, I don't know if it's a he, could be anybody. They are saying <laughs> go Ander. Spain is in the house. Sweet. So it looks like um, <clears throat> Spain went, there's Sam, um, come get, go get her. She's just all there by herself. But there's two reasons why Zam and Django are so far apart. Django has got Lone Wolf, doesn't want any ship in between. Uh, did a wee one hard to the left and a boost to the right. And Django is literally cannot get the power spray out of first gear. And may boost or probably will just stay where he is. But if he is, it'll be around to the right and it is. And I think Zam I'm boosted to get down. a shot at these DRK probe droids. Taking them off uh, yeah, would be a huge either. boost. The hard one's good. Next turn. E either's good. The hard one won't land on the rock to the right hand side. Be a range three. Yeah, not not that much of a problem. And if she does the hard one, she can then hard two away to the left and get out of dodge. And problem is the hard the crit. Two. That's three yep. of these coming in on the probe droids, and the probe droids die. You're gonna have to Just... launch yet another one. Just like that. One shot and the, one of the things that so helps HMPs, well, that's just out of there. So that's uh, not first blood, but um, helpful. Really helpful. Very, very helpful. And I'm assuming the other dark one's going to be launched here as a replacement. There's I nothing Zam can do about yes. this one. No. This one's getting in range. You go forward here. Mm -hmm. You send it forward again, you're, you're yeah. good. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, as, as I'm sure we will see in later turns, just how much of a, of a difference those probe droids actually make, those DRK ones. So we got a bit of a celebrity in chat here. We got Alex Proton from, I'm guessing Spain, because when he came in, he said hello, and then all, all the Spanish supporters were like, Proton! And, and Marcelo <laughs> was like, Protonico! And I don't know what that means, but it seems good. Seems seems pretty good. Uh, Spanish, Espanol, not quite my language. And to be fair, I now wish I'd taken Spanish at school instead of French, because all I learned in my entirety through my education is Ue la piscine which I can't really put into a conversation because that is where is the swimming pool. I mean, that seems like a good conversational piece to me. Well, it, it, it isn't a bar and I'm Irish, so we might get away with it. All right. That goes. Uh, let's see. Andy Freefeet says, hi from Spain. Let's go, Ander. 
Myth Osiris says this... Andy, which I assume refers to Andy Freefy. Marcelo says I, Spain I'm... on top. Ooh, do we have do we have some Maltese people? It's Maltese, right? I'm not making that up. I am so uncultured. No, Maltese is is the name of if you're a collective noun for people from the island of Malta. Yes, you are completely correct. Completely. So there's the probe dog being moved forward towards Sam. Yeah, and it's it's lock um, time. It is lock time, and this helps these guys so much. Like locks are just so good. Indeed, that first lock does trigger false transponder codes. Certainly does, but. Uh, only the first so if everyone is in range then oh there we go uh, i'll have a lock please you can have a lock and you can have a lock oh wow oh okay uh, I'm, I'm essentially now changing my nationality from irish to maltese because that target lock is phenomenal it's so they're all among us that is just brilliant Yep. Fantastic. The best target locks I've seen in the XTC so far. So three locks for the Maltese squad and goodbye, sir. So, um, thank you. I, I appreciate that, but um, you're not using them right now. I think uh, the internet had a slight hiccup there. So three back to the left from Zam Vessel. Right. So they're just double checking to see if that went past the rock. And um, that's absolutely fine. Miles clear. Miles clear. I think he's doing the right thing with Zam here. Uh, I know they're, they're only two dice ships on paper, but they have so many munitions and stuff that could screw up your day. You know, oh, you, have, you, have, you have a back arc. You don't, you know. Lone Wolf ain't that important for Jacob. <clears throat> no. And um, the ion missiles, you know, will, will do what it needs to do. But the problem is with these medium base ships and not like the small base, like the HMPs are, uh, when it hits, obviously you get one damage and then everything else becomes um, ion tokens. But they need two to actually be ion. So. And it's also at range two to three as well, so probably hitting it at range two is the ideal time for Malta to let's go. Trying there for... Uh... Yep. Yeah. And no shots at all. Not not from anybody. Zam is going to try and take this other probe droid off the board. I don't know how big this one is because now we're kind of getting into that combat range scenario, but we so certainly nice. are. Yeah, it, it, I mean, if she's not shooting anything else, you know, if it can go, it can go. That's pretty decent all around. Ooh, took the target lock and not a focus. He's spending on all of them. That it's is two, though. Two. Rogue droid and, lives. Um, certainly does. Oh man, okay, we just got like a shit ton of followers. Alright, so Alex Proton, thank you for the follow. Andy Freefy, thank you for the follow. Jean PB72, thank you for the follow. Willie Yarke, thank you for the follow. Hungaro Ring, thank you for the follow. Bismarck Forever, thank you for the follow. Holgrim22, thank you for the follow. Actoriano, thank you for the follow. And Mythosiris, thank you for the follow. And Fulgrim22 says, Animo Ander, which I think means, let's go, Ander! <laughs> and if it doesn't, it should, and we should make that law. Yeah. Because that's what it should be. You guys are absolutely welcome to speak Spanish in chat. Just know that I will be making up what you're saying so I can feel included. I don't see any, any problem with that either. Literally no, nothing wrong with it. Zero. Absolutely zero. If anything, it's inclusive. <laughs> that most certainly is. 
So uh, the, the Portuguese player just having a, a quick squeeze on the uh, repulsor lift stabilizers just to absolutely get into his head what that is. Um, so if you don't know, um, it's after you reveal a bank left or right or turn left or right, you must perform that maneuver as a side slip and then flip this card. Obviously, it's like the S foils, they have two sides and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, they, they can be quite unpredictable. Uh, but, Greg, I do know you like flying HMPs. Do you think they might do this to the right this time? I, you have to do it to the right because there's no way to go back. Like, if you could do, like, an echo thing where you could go, like, like to bank backwards, then, like, yep. oh, sorry. So they have to go to the left is what I'm saying. If it yeah. was, yeah, if it was to, if they had the option to go right, but like back, so they'd be kind of like straight facing the board up, then I think that would have been an option. But I, I think the the right call here is to go left, because you want to keep everything in front of you, right? Like all your munitions Perfect. don't have the 180 arc. Like your your 180 arc is for your primary only, so you want to keep your front arc facing both these fire sprays, because eventually they're going to have to come in. Uh, I did love the uh, first move in there being from Green, using the probe droid to uh, trigger Django's false transponder code. So that's both of them now broken, and any further locks will go through onto either ship. So uh, Blue obviously did his, and then transferred that over. So red and yellow on Zam, and blue on Django. Let's see where Zam ends up. Not really surprisingly, has uh, disappeared up beside her friend. Yeah, here's the thing though. There's never gonna be a good engagement for you, right? Like you're never yeah. getting the flank of these because they have 180 degree arcs and they're laid out in this situation. Like there's just never, if I'm if I'm Dan, I'm too harding next turn and I'm taking this space at the, the bottom right of the board to oh, not get in the thing to keep my box. Absolutely. Uh, he does not need to chase these fire sprays. What what this build loves because of the f like the four thermal detonators in each ship is take the bait, come chase me, we'll drop stuff. That's a good start. Plus they've got three forward and rear arcs. He does not need to do this. He can literally just too hard around here, slip a bit, too hard again, slip again, and just stay in this bottom of the board and not take any damage, he's probably going to try and get uh, Portugal to actually come and attack him. And that, if he stays at range two to three, you know, we are going to get missiles coming in. Those Magpulse warheads are range one to three. The uh, cluster missiles are range one to two. So we, he's got a lot of stuff, you know, the ions are two to three. He's got every single thing that he needs to be able to hit at range with dice. Yeah, so let me catch up with chat here. We have got we've got Team USA celebrity Daniel Leon, the CIS player, hey. saying he thinks that Dan is stoked for this matchup. He thinks he's happy about Ooh. it. Uh talking Oglop says, bet to all. First first contribution to the channel chat is a bet. Love to see it. Whisper Echo Bro, says Sweet quad HMPs. I think lots of people like going to the list. Zero Sierra says that is left. my friend Donald. Okay. <laughs> that is my friend Donald. Hello, Whisper. I uh, hope you're well. Lord Ninox says everyone from Spain is watching Anders' game, or as we like to call him, our traffic cone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a great deal. Yep, well played. Marsh Glyph says, Woot, go Dan, your captain is behind you, captain of Team Malta in the house. Like, no pressure then, right? Absolutely no pressure. Milo, Milu says, No era el cumpleaños de alguien today, hoy. I know hoy means today. I know no era means it's not, like, thing. Cumpleaños is birthday. I don't know what alguien means, and it's kind of a keyword for me here. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that means Jedi. It's not any Jedi's birthday today. No, o Obi Wan's was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's let's see what it is. Absolutely, hundred percent. Yep. Oh, more follows to catch up on. Uh, Storm Monkey Ten, thank you for the follow. Eretz Lapa, thank you for the follow. Patio Kaniger, 
<laughs> what a great name. Is that one of your Irish buddies? Patty O'Carriger? Uh, probably uh, a, a cousin of uh, Paddy O'Hulahan. Ah, uh, yeah. Because there's a load of, like, Paddy's everywhere. So um, if you are Irish, <laughs> welcome. Welcome. A thousand welcomes. And Mr. Dart Frog, thank you for the follow. I'll tell you what, this XTC thing, great for the follow numbers. Uh, phenomenal. Um, every stream I've done so far, whether I've been a, a guest stream like I am here with you or I'm doing it myself, at the end, I get everybody. I don't care what format is, Twitch or YouTube, it's one click of your mouse. You, you've given an hour and 15 minutes of your time to listen to people who should know better uh, and sometimes just take the mickey. That's probably me a lot. Probably includes you a lot. But it doesn't take anything to hit the follow button while you're watching on Twitch, or even if you're watching live on YouTube Gaming, you can just subscribe. And it makes all the difference, as you well know. Yeah, I mean, the, the follow button is just, like, I don't need subscriptions. Like, I, I do okay in life. But uh, having having people in the stream is just so nice. It's, it's fantastic. And, and the, the whole thing of being able to, you know, engage with the audience and uh, ask them what they think they're going to do. And as you how it r quite rightly pointed out, here's four two hards and double calculates. Like, what else are you going to do? Just come and get me. There is the two hard. You know, I think I would have rather that he move. Well, yeah, I would rather he move like blue for I, I don't know i was thinking about adding a barrel roll but i'm not sure it actually works no I, i'm more than happy there he can obviously he can th this time he can uh two slip and right and be absolutely fine and he 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 has got nothing to gain by chasing these fire sprays there's it's pointless uh for malta to chase them uh I'm also a little... the... i'm surprised he didn't open the things besides yeah they, they seem to be closed yeah so uh, maybe uh, these have a one forward don't they uh yes yeah so i mean one forward these and then you can yeah and you're you're you fairly know. certain that Django's not turning in like we just see oh 100 percent. yeah love it so when i, I say I it like right before it happens so no one can say i saw it beforehand you know that, like legitimately gives me that call <laughs> You know, so we've had we've had a grand total of 20 minutes in this game already, and that's the most optimistic can I fire anything ever in the history of the world, but it does also give you information. So if you're playing a fun game with your friends, he knows that's not hitting there, but he knows now how far range three is to that rock in the middle. No, well, they should be able to do something stupid. They deleted the but dice he... box. <laughs> <laughs> Uno Memento, I shall make another one. And look at all that. I mean, that's just fine. And there goes that. Oh, wait, no. So two hits on. This is a shot from Zam on the probe droid. It is, which is the real reason why he took it out the back. But to yeah. gauge... You, you cannot, like, get your range ruler out in real life when you're the other side of the board, but it does tell you how far away the opponent is. So it gives you something. Oh, and he deleted... And have they just deleted, if just deleted the asteroid. Well. Should be easy enough to replace some relock, to be fair, so... Uh, and I like the fact that he is going right back to his uh, his list to be able to put that back on there. And they're they're going to work together while they do that. I am going to get the dice box back. It, it, it made such a difference to my stream having the dice box and the dice rolling actually on the map that it's got me much more followers so um it, it when it's a key critical component of a game um it just makes it look so much better it really does 
And I'm lucky I like it in the middle. It's that's just makes it easier to make sure it's there. So uh well things are all going on behind the scenes. Um I genuinely think that the Maltese players will probably just go one forward. There's no point uh chasing uh Spain's fire spread. Just sort yourself out. And then he's got this entire... If he was to do one forward with all four, he could then uh, left two and go right the way up to the top of the screen uh, towards the clock and damage deck area. And on 180 degree arcs at any point, he, if he thinks that uh, Django or Zam are going to engage, he has got the perfect opportunity to get the front arcs on so the munitions can get fired. Right. We are, we are all back to normal. Players have agreed on everything. Icebox is back. We're all good, baby. You can't hold us Man, down. That's, you can't hold us that's down. All that that's, that's all that matters. Grab <laughs> Guinness. I'm Irish. It's always going to be Guinness. It ain't going to be bothered. It ain't going to be anything at all. It's not even going to be molten Canadian. I'm Irish. I want Irish whiskey, and I want an Irish an Irish stout, and I'm I'm a happy boy. And I want a diet Snapple. Oh. You guys have Snapple in Ireland? I've had it when I've been over in the States. I, I've been over for Worlds for several FFG games, which I know is probably heresy as it's moved to Atomic Mass. But um, yeah, I've been in Minneapolis lots of times and uh, over on vacation to other places. Snapples are awesome. What's your, what's your favorite What's your favorite food. place in the United States? I love hearing what like like Europeans' favorite place in the United States is because it's always like some city I would never go to. Um. Okay, so my favorite city's in Massachusetts. You'd say Boston. You'd not say Boston. I'm going to say Boston. Of course I'm going to say Boston. I'm Irish. It is like oh. Dublin's little Colton, except bigger. And they, they, St. Patrick's Day, they make the river go green. Dublin doesn't even do that. It's already green, but it's all sewage. That three hard to the left from the HMPs is actually quite bold. I applaud that. I love it. That's great. That yeah. Gives him some room. Awesome. I'm again a little yeah. concerned that you didn't flip the the thing. I like. I think you need to control range here because you have munitions. Range three shots favor you. You want range three. Don't don't let oh, these fire sprays get in. Yeah, you. Yeah, you do. Um, I hope that um, uh, relative she has not forgotten about. I'm sure he hasn't. Such a critical part of that list. The droid. I hope he doesn't forget about it because it's now behind the asteroid in the center of the screen that somebody deleted. Uh, but I'm sure that can get moved and uh, that moved across. Because at the minute, it appears like it's only green and blue have got Django target locks. Uh, yeah, I think that's true because red and yellow are on Zam. Yeah. And he's doing a good so, job um, keeping up with Kraken. Keeping up with Kraken, the new show on NBC this fall. <laughs> Followed by sports and the weather. See, I think I think it's I think you don't want to turn in here. I think it's a mistake to turn in and then you're gonna to have to break up your block as you navigate around that big asteroid in the middle. Yeah, I mean I, I am relatively okay with where the Maltese uh HMPs are. Um, Okay, I mean, they only have one evade dice, which which kind of sucks. But they're, you know, the back toy drums, it's five hull, three shields. That's a lot. Yeah, I mean, this is so, 36 health that you do no, 40. Yeah, yeah. No, sorry, I was right. 36. The smallest 32? Of ships oh, my game. God. Why can't I do math anymore? It's 32. Jesus Christ, Craig. Four times eight. Do you know what the problem is? Too much snaffle. That's the problem. Oh, don't you dare. Do you not dare. In fact, <laughs> in fact, this is this is your stream now. I'm gonna go get a snapple. Oh. So just do whatever you want. No problem. Enjoy it. I would love a Guinness, but I can't. I have already had two in a really nice Irish bar earlier on today. So that was nice. That's actually the first drink in a bar I've had in 16 months and let me tell you it was gorgeous so 
it looks like the dials were set. He is now going to change everything, which if he wants to fly it as the swarm, as he has done so perfectly the entire game, all these four maneuvers should be the same one. So I don't know whether he has changed his mind because tick, that would be us cheating and we can't, uh, but I would assume everything will now be the same. It looks like all the dials are now set. There's the ping on the table and they will go first as long as Spain are set properly. That has made a burden go, hmm, what have you done? Personally, I would probably do a one hard to the left with Django. I'd probably do a two hard to the left from uh, Zam to see how we're getting on. Now, keep in mind, the one base it. on these HMPs are red. Yeah, they are. So I, I'm kind of thinking... Is Django a bit from Burden? Is that, is, is that, you know, do you want to try and fire something off? Because to be able to get with no hull upgrades, and that, that to me, one of these ships needs a, a hull upgrade. Because uh, with six hull and four shields, you only need to do five. If you ever have a ship that has an even number of hulls and shield that hull upgrade or shield upgrade if you can afford it means you have to do one more damage for half oh, and on these beautiful. ships it seems like a good idea three so hearts all three and hearts opening in straight away no fear whatsoever at trying to get those big uh ordnance things out there I've got target locks on both, so it will depend on where these two fire sprays end up, and it's Sam to go first. To me, this is saying that they're going to uh, be splitting up next turn. I think you probably bank green to the right side slip, bank yellow to the left side slip, and one forward red and blue. Yeah, and that's all your arcs out everywhere, trying to get as many people in arc as possible. So a hard one there from okay. Sam. Django wants course. nothing to do with this. Django's like, nah, son, I'm going to boost out of here. Yep, absolutely. And probably banks to the left, I would assume, uh, which would probably then be any... I think he, I think any, he goes right, uh, right or forward to get out. Boom. Yeah, there it is, forward. I don't, I don't think he wants this shot. Forward. The smoke's a little too much for him. So no shot there from Django. I, if that being closer doesn't have any shot, I assume Zam doesn't have a shot either. And neither, it looks like. Oh, do we do. We do have a oh, shot. Malta do. Malta do. So green uh, over here has got an ion missile, which is about to be fired. So that is within its range. Three red dice into Django. No range bonus because it is a munition. Let's get oh. two re-rolls. All eyes. Your kingdom for a focus on a droid, right? And yeah. I'm going to turn um, one with the calculate. Yep. And save the calculate. No reason to spend. You're probably not getting it. Oh, he's going to turn two? Oh, oh he turns two. He oh. wants that damage. He wants that damage. Django. Django goes. Has the force. And that is one of the reasons why Count Dooku oh, where the fun and begins. Palpatine are probably the best cards on any of these separatist fire sprays. I mean, you can Dooku, use for... Dooku is the best, right? Like, Dooku is crazy good. Dooku is astonishing. Like, it's astonishing. He, he is so damn good in every single way, it is frightening. Like, I, I can't think of a better card for that point, and it is really expensive. Well, it's 10 points. Yeah. It's a it's a really cheap force crew, right? Like, Malz, Dooku? Malz, yeah, Dooku's like 10, right? Yeah, he's 10, but if you put that in their 200-point list, which no self-respecting separatist Stay should do, We're you know, close. Dooku Stay is 10 points, but you don't have to use it for the range 0-2. Uh, you know, you can get it pick side you want so it's brilliant on defense when you need that crit to go through it's great on offense but mainly on defense but you can still just use it as a force so any yeah. eye all of a sudden that's that's an evade so yeah i think i just think 10 points is cheap for 
a force user. Yeah. Like, Maul's 12, right? And Maul had, like, no one uses Maul's ability. Like, how no. many times do you see I mean, someone be like, I will take a stress and regen this one force? Uh, no. But I, I, I am seeing it a lot on Kanan Jara spells uh, for the new Hawk in that expansion, and that, that gives Kanan two force to use. The, the, my only bugbear with it is, although both of them are meant to, like, flip back up again as recurring charges, you can only flip one force per, yeah, per it's turn. A, it's so. a force pool. Uh, yeah. You know what I've really enjoyed lately is Kanan on a Han Solo Rebel, like Kanan crew. On Han Solo Ooh, Rebel, those it. ships have been really tearing it up. That's nice. That is nice. Epionic says, math, languages, geography, Nickel City X-Wing, these are the reasons we tune in. You're right. We're, we're not just about X-Wing. We're about everything. It's just how it is. I think you you come here to learn, right? right? Oh, yeah. We're, we're an educational yeah. stream. And here's yellow side slipping bank to the left. Look at that. Grabs a second calculate because one always sort of stays on. Uh, oh, look, you called it right. Green to the wall. I thought green was going to go right here. So not that right. <laughs> yeah, but that's still that's still really quite good for the next turn. So that's not bad at all. Well, they go one forward with the other, so they should, probably should, because red will not bump into green, so... And he's gonna leave the... Leave the, uh... Repulsor lifts in the open position. So there it is. ready to... Still a nice unified open. front. I like, I like this approach. Yep. I like it. I like this a lot. Zam cautiously comes in with a V1 forward. No doubt we'll focus up. I mean, there's no point doing anything else. And he's he's trying like hell to get one of these fire sprays on a flank. Yeah, absolutely. Um, problem is, as you said, in the show already, it's so hard to get a flank on these little ships with that yeah. 180 degree arc. It's, it's, I'm not saying it's impossible, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's just very, very difficult. The, the good news for Django is uh, his two target locks, one of them is on blue, and I think blue is out of range, and blue will probably shoot at Zap. Uh, it's only going to be plink plinks. A boost from Django to make sure anything coming in from yellow is obstructed, but probably yeah. not from green. So I think green and yellow are probably too hard to the left here. To put fire oh, on yeah. Django while the side slip happens from red and blue. And Zam I mean, is going to get a shot like... here. I think I believe this is on yep. blue range three. Natty's from Zam. Pretty good. Pretty good. And only the one back. Two shields into blue. The first ouchie think... goes to Zam. Red yep. out. First blue. So red's got no one. Blue will obviously have a shot back. And going to be a another ion missile. Like it. Like Me the fact too. that it's out of an extra dice. Why he's only pulling out two. I think he, I wonder uh, if he's debating whether or not to ion missile this, and he actually he uncharges the charge, and he's just going to fire a primary. It's going to give him yeah, an good extra die. Because his target lock is on Django, and you need the target lock to fire the missile. Yep. So... Network game isn't that good. But, uh... Could work out. Damn of Isofane in the chat. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Hope... Your new child is doing well. Absolutely. Womp Rat Open says, 50% of the time you call it right every time. That's also true. That's like a broken clock. Still tells the right time twice a day. Sure does. Did not see Unless what attack this is. Like everybody's not. This is someone Ooh. attacking somebody. Oh, it's Zam with the rebuttal shot on blue. 
for hit hit crit after the Dooku call. And that is hit oh. crit going through on the blue. And that is probably half points, correct? And that looks With like a blinded pilot to me. You gotta fix and that. It is. He has to fix that. That's that's real bad. Wow, wow, so, wow. It could not ask for a more perfect opening engagement for these fire sprays. Take nothing and deal half damage on one of these HMPs. So not great at all there for the island of Malta. Okay, things... There's a lot of time, 37 odd minutes left still to go, plenty of time and plenty of places to get fire arcs into this coming turn. Yeah, 37 minutes left, see. we do have our first scoring update of the day. Let's bring in Gerd, Gerd, give us a score. Ender from Spain, 24, Stay Dan, zero. We're too close. Stay on target. He sounds so good, Gerd. Yeah. Might need yeah, a little we'll... adjusting, but we'll see. He, he, he all good. So sloops from blue and red to the right. I think that makes perfect sense. And two hearts from green and yellow. Problem is Zam can just come straight in here. Straight in here and boost in and, and take a massive shot. Because I genuinely believe they are quite happy if uh, Yellow goes after Django without the target lock, and Red goes after Zam while well, he's got a target lock. It's, Red, it's like Red the, is the Red one with the goal. cannons, though. Sync's laser cannons are really yeah. good. It's actually my favorite really upgrade good. of the new pack. Uh, a favorite weapon, you mean? Yeah, well, because I think it's fantastic. I mean, maybe it is good. Do you want to check the card? It's, it's After okay. you fully execute a maneuver, you may flip this card. Uh, yeah. Hey. To, for Sir, Sir Leon in chat, it's after you fully execute. Oh wait, no, that's inactive. Let me go to the active one. Yeah. After you fully execute a nine a non side slip maneuver, it's a may. So it's only a may. After they execute a side slip, they have to. If they don't execute a side slip, they it's a meh. They can keep it. Yeah. So um as obviously last turn, uh green and yellow did a side slip, but the other two just did a one forward, so they can do whatever they like. But the side slips to the right look be good to me. I wonder will we see like um a talon possibly from Django? That's also something else that could happen. I think there's no reason to talon when you can why stress yourself when you can do hard and be in essentially the same position. I would probably agree with that. But I have seen some incredible maneuvers that during the XTC that I just Yeah, did he'll not probably understand. do something I did he'll like go like you know, in Pac-Man, when you go, like, off the board and then you come back on the other board, he'll probably pull something like that. I didn't yeah. even know so you could do that, but all right. Yeah. They go right to the bottom of the board and 4-4 four, four would be just upon the Nickel City X-Wing logo at the top. That's yeah. where it end up. Teleporting. Oh, so sorry, these, wrong. Sorry, sorry, Frances. These, uh, these HMPs really, really, really want to get a focus shot on one of these fire sprays. And Ander has done such an expert job of keeping range control where he's only had one shot. He's gotten one shot yep. twice. Yep. That the only bad thing is, yes, he is half the blue HMP, but he is now out of Zam charges. So that's gonna take a little while to get back up even just to the two, depending on yeah, uh, but where it, the In the meantime, fire. it's free locks. <laughs> like it's so good. Oh yeah. And if you focus fire on Zam, he gets a charge each time you fire. That's four, four HMPs, four shots. Yeah, absolutely. So if the, if that is the card, um, that's uh, th the thank you card, isn't it? 
Not that you'd better mean business. Yeah, yeah so you right. should thank me. Yeah. Uh, if that gets set down as that, then it, those charges come up real fast. So there we go. There is the hard two. Um, also, it's the, activated. Yeah. Yeah, I want to know who made, who like was like, all right, guys, I'm going to name these cards. And I want all of you to thank me for doing. Oh, wait a minute. That's a good name for this card. <laughs> what a you should thank me. So the two are to the left, dumb by the first one. Um, yeah. It depends on is he is he thinking of, about the target lock? He should he should be in range Ooh. for that surely. Barrel roll. Those are red. Wow. Okay. And the two forward oopsie doozy. Well, the, that target lock is on uh, Zam, and there's the calculate that it can get. Yeah, there this, is this the slip. And yeah, this fix is good. blinded. He yeah. is. He's gonna and fix that's... blinded. He's gonna get it out of there. It's oh, it's such an oh, annoying Zam. card for HMPs. And then a uh, another slip. So tons of uh, arcs on here. And don't forget that the green at the bottom can also plink plink if he decides he gets enough damage in with whatever missiles he fires at Zam. So that's Malta finished. Where do you, where do you think we get Zam going now? Is that done a too hard to the right? And she just goes no. <laughs> that's. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh, spaghetti -o. Oh dear God. Oh, this is fun. So, the sync laser cannons are on um, the Geonosin prototype. That is the red, uh, which is pretty good. Kraken is also in there, and Kraken is just fantastic. You know, well, at the end phase, you can pick up the three friendly ships up to range three. If you do, you don't remove that calculate token, which is why all of these have not actually moved at the end of the round. And that makes you, if you get a target lock, treble modded. That's pretty decent. Uh, so Marcelo Alv. Oh, God, let me say this right. Marcelo Ver Verdadero. Oh, my God. I can't even read anymore. <laughs> Marcelo Voldadero says, who's co-casting with you? So why don't you take a second, use this to, to plug your stream, tell people who you are. They want to know. They want to know. All right. Well, my name is Seth Holocron from the Tauntaun Squadron, where we are based in Ireland. And I've been playing this game since the first box, actual version one came out. And the only thing you could play was X-Wings and TIE Fighters. So I've been through every expansion and we've been covering x-wing for a long 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 time so uh we decided coming up to the xtc why don't we make a youtube channel i've streamed umpteen things before i've did destiny i did ring terra i did a whole load of games but this game's always been my favorite game and then getting made part of the xtc team ireland team uh thankfully i'm a sub which means i can spend all my time on youtube streaming and i've had a ball so there you go uh, if you want to know more about us we'll put the link up somewhere yeah you can, you can throw it in chat uh Django takes one shield off of green and now zam is gonna i assume try to pile into blue here i think that that has to happen um i i don't see why it wouldn't happen to be completely honest because like blue, blues, Dustin Blue have cluster missiles, and that's range one to two. And Sam does not want to take that in the face. And gonna leave it at hit crit. Blue not finding the evade. So hit crit coming in, and it is a fuel leak, which is what I like to call blank in the biz. Yeah, that's. That's not so bad, but the fact that it's still alive and well, then... Well, the, the danger I... is with Zam and Dooku. Dooku makes crits lively. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. There's there's no doubt about that at all. So oh, I will, uh... laser cannon shot now into Zam. 
Juan right, like. Malila says, Vamos a España, which means let's go Spain. 100% accurate. Even I know that's accurate. Yeah. Uh -huh. Rerolls available here. Two rerolls if he wants it. And take one, gets it, spends a calculate for three. Nicely done. Ooh, Blake's three shields down onto Zam. So one charge back because of the Zam ability and a target lock. So like the fact that Red shot first. So had it have been, uh, you better mean business. That would have been. It's a. It's an absolute must. You must turn it over the first time. You defend. Uh, so now blue. Again, this is a painting shot. And hit crit. <laughs> and let's see what under rolls here for Spain. The, oh, what? nearly disrespect. But um, and Dooku's uh, doesn't Dooku the evade just spends Dooku for native absolutely. force talent ability. To take absolutely. Nothing. And Dooku is should get another charge here to move lock if she wants. I would maybe do that and put it on the blue. Try and get yeah, twenty five percent. Yeah, I, I I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. I think that might be a little miss trigger happening because I don't see him flipping the charge. Yellow comes with mag pulse warheads. They're oh, not I entirely. Love my this is gonna be a cluster missile though. Mag pulse doesn't really give you too much right now no but the clusters do and um that's sadly they're not beside it's, it's Django great. Great shot. that's a great shot and it's all going through wow that's half points wow. on Zam and, and the crit is it's a direct oh no it's a huge oh no for Spain that's that's terrible no I the really bad thing is, she can't even return far enough because she isn't an orc. Yeah. And what a, a swing! A cluster <laughs> missile coming in to Django now from Green. Green also has two rerolls. Should Green want? Green I think does Green want. Two hits. Django, Palpatine still up. And spend Palpatine for one shield. So that reroll from Django's ability. And that takes one. Just one shield. Nothing too bad there. But the real story now is Zam is hurting. I mean, you yeah, trade one that... HMP for one Zam, right? So that's a great I, trade. I... I'd, I'd be happy if Blue was off the board to take half a Zam, especially when you look at the points and the fact that she can shoot twice. Oh, yeah, that uh, that round, if this is a boxing match, certainly went to Malta. What would you say, like 10-8, like 10-9? I've watched boxing. I know what I'm talking about. Wink. That was a, a really, really nice shot to the body there. So it was a nice little body punch. And we'll probably make Ander go, oh, that's not good. And the position of Zam, depending on where these HMPs end up, could be quite bad. I think Zam's hard turning left here. I uh, think she has to. Other than that, she'd have to do like a hard three to the right. Depending on where red goes, I don't even think. But you could, I, 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 hard three right is straight asteroid. No, that's sorry, a, bank, a, a bank to the right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If, actually, I think if I'm blue, I'm dropping both thermals here, just for a little bit of coverage and to kind of hem zam into the two hard left and the boost left, so you know exactly where she is, so you can two hard left with both of your ships. Yeah, and, oh, and absolutely. Keep up the fire. So um, we, we've got to remember there's so many bombs in, in, in this game. Uh, keeping track, I don't even have enough charges to be able to do 
the HMP list on the right. Mm. That's that more yellow than I have ever seen outside of a field full of like sunflowers. I didn't know there was so much yellow in all the universe. <laughs> oh, what a movie that is. <laughs> We've got a Wayne Gretzky amount of viewers. You know, I think when we started the stream, there were seven. And then slowly climbed up as word got out that Malta and Spain were renewing their centuries-old rivalry. Believe it or not, you're almost accurate. Almost. Spain was probably the only one that didn't overthrow Malta at some stage. <laughs> the British had it. The Turkish had it. The Greeks had it. The Italians had it. Uh, the Turkish had it. It's an amazing place to go on vacation. It is class. It is a brilliant place, really temperate, nice weather. But did, it's did the Armenians ever have it? I, I'll have to find an Armenian friend and ask. Maybe we've got one in chat. Who knows? Lithuania is not that far away. Anyone Anyone else Armenian? Let's go. Uh, we do have a scoring update, though. Let's bring in Gerd. Gerd, what's the score now? Ander from Spain, 24. Dan from Malta, 46. Thanks, Gerd. He's really good. Like, that's some program. Oh, I know. <laughs> but I wouldn't steal it from you. That that's quintessentially Nickel City, and that's one of the reasons why I watch. It's you ever, you ever, you ever make a character that's more popular than you? That's where I'm at in life. Uh, I'm Irish, so everybody in the world's more popular than me. Everybody people, likes me. People talk everybody. about their marriages so bad. They're like, fuck, why did I do this? <laughs> I do like where Django is, though. J Django's actually in a really good spot himself. Uh, better off than Zam. But we're going to see a lot happening here in the system's face. The, with the, the damage in the blue, he needs to... It, drop at least two of those uh, thermals just to get something from it, whether they hit or not. Red may even drop one or two, just in case she decides to go somewhere else. NW Vader dropping five subs. This is like the third time he's done it in three days. Thank you so much. He's that man has given me more subs. Yeah, he's, he's... Anybody else I know. Uh, and loads of, cha uh, loads of channels. The man is a total legend. I like to think that he is X-Wing's sugar daddy. Him and like Isofane are just like, they've like got up cool. Maybe they have a shared bank account and they just like take turns reloading it and then start gifting subs everywhere. So, uh, Lord Ninox says a Zam4 straight and a boost and Django a soft left one. Hmm. Is the one forward would be, yeah, that would probably fit. Django, if, Django's uh, in a worse spot than than Zam. I think Zam's in actually a pretty okay spot right now. Jam, but so the green one is two harding side slip to the left. Oh, and 100%. that's going to give him full coverage on whatever Django does. But here's well, Chad, here's where I'll your talent might actually be. I, I don't yeah. think it goes far enough. I think your ship's too big. The base is probably too big. Oh, we have the uh, multi captain, uh, Marsh Glyph, here, who says, uh, You can always ask me, and went, No, the Turks never took us. So, uh, out of the nine that I mentioned, I got one wrong. I apologize to everyone on the island of Malta. All seven of you on the island of Malta, that is a sincere apology from this Irish man. Utter sincerity. And I genuinely cannot wait to go back. I absolutely love the place. It's one of my favorite parts of the, in the whole world. I love it. My, uh, my, actually, my uncle and aunt went there. And other than uh, saying how beautiful it was, they also said that sandwiches were very expensive. HG um, Wood, but... thank you so much for the sub. Wine's quite expensive, and normally wine's quite cheap if you take a, a, a Mediterranean holiday of some description. Um, seeing quite a few uh, thermals going here. 
Why are you not dropping two? Blue, why are you not dropping two? Drop two! Maybe not. Greg, I don't think Isophane uh, heard that very nice thing you said about him earlier on. All right, I'm, I'm typing it out for him so he doesn't have to wait. Okay, all good. Side slip from yellow. Side like slip it? from green. And I thought he would be going the other way, but he wants to steer Django into these bombs. Well, the, the bomb. Yeah, absolutely. And also, if uh, Django has done a one hard to the left, could very possibly bump, uh, which means he'd be unmodded. That's a brilliant maneuver. Oh my lord. I think he wanted away from his own thermal there. I think so. Yeah, well, that's, this is also his best chance of staying alive. <laughs> like, Just that... slightly. And he will fix fuel leak. Which is another really good decision and a 100% put the handbrake on. And Let's go! I forgot they could anymore. stop. Oh, I haven't. That's, that's it. That's, that's just great. Oh. And look at that oh. decision. Oh my! Oh. What, what a else? move! You called Normal. it. That is all you. You said, could he do the three bank right? And he just did. I, I was very move. Right off it, but that's phenomenal. Like, wow. That's just great. No bump, a range one four die shot into that. Is this a reinforce? He's reinforcing. How often have you well, ever seen a reinforce from a fire spray? I, I, I'm not mad at it. I just never see it. I, and Django's well, taking I mean, this bomb. Has... Oh, yeah. Django's taking that one. Um no barrel roll on the fire spray the one bank away isn't going to get too much but it might get him out of uh, range one three from the green and just decides to uh eat it and, and play the dice game uh epionic i'm gonna say that malta is located in the mediterranean and if it's not i blame the american school system so django will have to roll here doesn't want to see a hit or a crit. And sees a hit. One shield down. Second. Oh. But has uh, got the ability here to be able to kick ass with both Sam and Django. So yeah, but let's I think see. I think he did a good job. Blue's gonna live. I think Blue lives through this turn. Oh. It's I don't think blue is even in the arc. I think it's just going to be yellow and green. In fact, yeah. not even yellow. So uh, that lovely range one shot from the rear. And then next turn, it, it's very hard to catch, catch HMPs with those. Dango 4v1 has a focus and a palp force. Does he choose to spend? I think you do here. You're only taking one shot, really. Oh, he checks for lone yeah. wolf. And he will spend his palp force. Make that yep. hit crit into green. Green rolls. Pretty good. That's an eye. Does green want to spend? Yep. Does. Spends on defense. Takes Absolutely. One shield. That could have been a lot worse uh, for Malta. Absolutely a lot worse. And this has got to be a range one. Bangaruski into red. Because I don't think blue is there. No, that, that's, that, that's his primary target. And at the minute, completely okay, but... Ooh, that is has the target really lock. Good. So, spend it, but there's no... No, he doesn't spend it. He doesn't spend it. Spends on defense to only take one shield. You know why he's not spending it? It's because he's got You Better Mean Business up. And he wants the mod for the yep. second shot when Red goes into him. How sneaky yep. would it be if Red goes long distance into Django? But you got Zam on the that. run, right? You got Zam so close. You could feasibly yep. kill him. I don't know if you could feasibly kill We'll see. All right. Red comes with synced laser cannons. Could fire on Django long range for three. Or it could yep. go into... Uh, Zam. 
I don't know. Maybe. Gosh, it's hard. Uh, does Red still have a calculate for the sync laser cannon shot? Uh, no. Just spent the calculate oh. on. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. So three the dice base. into Django. This is uh, gonna be three v three. As the rerolls, such a ability. Oh, it's fantastic. And that is hit crit into Django. No second calculate. Django should get that third. Should get the third. In fact, he does. He dice it. Book. What good there, sportsman that is. Oh, for the range mm. bonus, he gets this. And it continues to Don't be blank. Let's, wow. Two more shields on Django, shields down. One more away from half more. I love this because left. now yellow can either can, can shoot into Zam and not be afraid. Like it's, it's that, in my opinion, you, you just saved a ship. Blue can take a little primary into Django, 2v2. Well, you know, at, at the minute, it's all Malta. Crit, crit. Oh, Ooh, natty crits. 64 to 1. And it's calling in evade. Gets the evade <laughs> with Dooku. And a crit goes in to Django. And that crit is a disabled power regulator. So in two turns, Django will be ion. Yep. And there's nothing he can do about that. And the problem is, does he, that gives there a really, really big decision to make. Because if he goes too far forward and then gets Ion close to the board edge, that ship yeah. will go off the side. But where he is right now, probably I think, not. I think it stops the turn in. I think what the next two turns are going to be like straight and then a turn to give him plenty of board and plenty of arc. Absolutely. And these guys, if you're a team member of any of these 38 countries that are in the XTC, you are a damn good X-Wing player, and you're probably in the top 380 people in the world, which doesn't sound a lot, but there are thousands of people playing this game. Hit crit into Django with a reroll. This is just a primary shot. Stays hit crit. Django still has a focus. That's the time uh, it. Going That's Another crit. Damaged engine. Oh, no. No. no, 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 no. And that is that to me. I love flying fire sprays, but the one and two hard. That's a maneuvers, killer. That's a killer for them. So. Yellow has the three. cluster missiles. Could give. Could take a, an obstructed shot that's also reinforced. So you're likely yeah. to do one. If you wanted, though, you could take a primary shot out your side onto Django and keep piling in. But it looks like it's choosing to go into Zam. Well, because Red didn't shoot, uh, no return shot, and Zam yeah. doesn't have an arc on yellow, so why would you not take that chance? Yeah, it's just you can't you can't get the kill here. This is a cluster missile. One crit has the rerolls. Yep. Yeah. Also has a calculate, so only gonna pro probably roll the blank. And spend oh. two. Fantastic. So Zam, one evade will take a crit. Reinforces yeah. down one. Zam takes a crit. And that crit. And the crit is going to be Oh, look at this. Tension. Dramatic. Love it. Dramatic. Love it. Fuel leak, oh no! Ooh, that's tough! Oh my god. And the game has just turned in favor of Malta. Django and Zam, both half points, both clinging to life. Bringing Gerd. Dan 98, Ander 24. 24 points, and Ander has flown this fire spray list almost flawlessly. 
He's yeah, only it's, scored 24 points. It's kind of unfair. Our HMPs are so good if they're flowing well. Yeah, I thought when he went into the rocks, it might have been like a like an oopsie daisy, but he's turned these HMPs into real weapons. Absolutely. Um, I I think Zam has to try and and kill or at least half a ship before she goes boom, and yeah. that is is an absolute must have. One one fire spray, who's already lost. Uh, six of its 10 total health and another is already lost eight of its 10 total health and seeing and how fuel leak could be could be double damaged if any crit goes through and with uh, rerolls that's... that is the one advantage that rerolls has over a focus the percentage is actually the same but it's if you reroll your crit chance goes slightly up does that it does I, I genuinely think that because Django can't do any hard turns at all because of uh, the disabled, uh, sorry, the damage engines, I mean, that's awful. And the next time he engages, he's getting an ion token. That's, that's not great. That's, that's, uh, you can't even repair that until you are ioned. Yeah, I think <sighs> you kind of ignored Django here, and you're kind of all in on killing Zam this turn. You're all in on killing Zam. It's, <clears throat> it's all, all turrets. On, on Zam, and if you lose one or you lose half, but get rid of that three die attack, well, yeah, that's with that six odd minutes to go. Malta looking in a very good position. And uh, let me let me take a second and promote. I've got another XTC game in just under four hours from now, so 6 p.m. Eastern, 2200 UTC. It is Doug from. Team USA versus Martinto from Chile. Should be a good game. PSA always provide good games every single time I've watched any of them. Um, they have been excellent. The comeback kings of the XTC. Yeah, I've heard them trying to trade. Carson, Carson has literally not played a game that isn't like the most dramatic thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that it, it is. That's it, like he, he was so far behind in at least three and managed to win all three, which is a testament to how good he can fly. Now, list of his, uh, yeah, he's he's a he's a superstar. And we so, see a bunch of thermals being dropped. No, yeah. no reason not to. It's not like you can take them with oh. you when you're gone. Absolutely not. Um, which is why I was uh, surprised that Blue only dropped one. I would have dropped two. Um, I get maximum out of it. So there is a sloop away there, that uh, lovely little side sloop. And, and safe, I would assume. And he's actually going to take a reload for all those, the one ion missile he got off. <laughs> uh, quite like the uh, little comment from Gooser Drew, uh, these mag pulses uh, could seal Zam's fate. Yeah, uh, the, the mag pulses mean something now with that deplete. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, get a red. barrel roll? Barrel roll, maybe? Uh, I would try and get out of at least one of them, maybe. Go as far away as is humanly possible um, from at least one of them. I love that. He's giving himself a chance. That is the one uh, with Kraken on, so. Discretion from Zam. Surely he's not gonna yeah, that's that makes sense. And the two forward is exactly what uh Django could do and probably has got green and orc. Oh yeah, a nice green. He's got a nice little banger on green. Yeah, absolutely. And 
Django's thermals reach nothing. Ooh, so close. This one might hit. It does catch yeah, red. So one out of four, not great, but still well, uh, well dropped. Does it pay off though? And red takes a string. No. no. And I don't think uh, Zam's going to waste maybe her last shot on an obstructed shot. Oh, it does get yellow as well. Probably goes into green for the extra dice. Yeah, exactly what's happening. Or V1. And it's not out of the realm of possibility to nuke green here. I oh, oh that is four hits in the green. Green spends to take three. Yep. And green's down to so three, so Django's got <clears throat> Django's got a chance to, to just take green off the board. Four hits seals it. Yep. And Zam can also go into green here. I uh, think that's range two. Oh, he's going, he's going downtown to red. It crit. So an obstructed shot should have three dice. Ends up with a reroll. Oh wow! Needs paint. Red takes them both. No one. He doesn't have it's a just one. He doesn't have a calculate. So he takes them both. Hit crit crit going into red. That's all shields down. It is not quite enough though for the half. Oh, is he? Do he already have? Oh, it, is. it is. All right, I and guess that's he... a damage right on that. Money He's gonna miss the damage you know. at some point. That's what you always see. Yep. So all shields and a damage sensor array as the first hull damage on the red. So red is synced laser cannons, and you take this into Zam. You're, you're beyond the point about caring, right? Like, yeah, you are. Being, at, 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 this, at this point, at this point, everything goes into Zam. Absolutely yep. everything goes in, and you can fire at it. And he's uh, just that checking front hard. This is obstructed, so and he doesn't have a calculate, so this would be a three on four cannon shot. It would, but it's still three dice, and that's three dice with two rerolls. Yeah, and you know it's, it's pretty much a free target lock if needed. Is it needed? And the needed. average roll. Bit of trail mix. Let's see if we can get a bit more paint on that. Two hits. More. Zam does have a focus and should actually be four dice, I think. Uh, so two, two for normal, one for obstruction, one for uh, range if it's range three. So yeah, there maybe should be. There's the timer. And let's let's say this. Ander is twelve points down. Like, yep. Yep. And so well, I like the force. It. Is he go oh, okay? Oh, spends the focus. Keeps Dooku spends okay. the focus. Dooku good because can always call that evade. So if he blanks out he would get at least one. Uh and green he doesn't he chooses not to fire back. And green is just going to say, okay, don't fire back. I'll fire onto Django. Yep. Now, Django is hurt and bleeding. We'll get the two that he needs if he needs it. And that's uh, three into Django. Wow. Four One needed. Evade. Two more in. So two more to kill. And here comes... Should be a... Oh, you gotta yellow. Check the no Yellow's chance. lock is on Zam, so this would just be a regular shot into Django. 2v2. It will be. 
Oh, it's beautiful. Is there any luck on that side? Okay, so three Two. rerolls. Just the crit. 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 Dingo, still focused. Just needs some paint. Any paint. Any paint on the can also. Uh, and Django's the evade. Or er, Dooku's the evade and rolls natties anyway. But. So. And now. I believe if he has you better mean business. See which one he has on here. The card Let's is you better it. mean business. So I don't believe it's he's allowed to shoot. I believe this is he recharges two charges. You better thank me as if you don't get shot. And you're in arts. That should be it. Yeah. I think that is game. That Congratulations is. to Dan from Malta. The 98-76 win, which is, now that I think about it, 22 points, not 12. I can do math. Uh, math is hard. Math is hard. That's why we play games for a living. Yeah. What a game that was. And here's the thing. like You can't really fault Ander for how he flew these fire sprays. Like, I, I, that was a masterclass on how to fly fire sprays. Range control, brilliant. The right choice of token, brilliant. The first engages, really good. What really hurt him, I think, was Zam taking that monster salvo to the face. Yeah. That, that one round where Zam took everything just got crazy. All right, so... Looks like Gold Squadron is still streaming. So we're going to raid them. I'm going to wait 90 seconds. So they can see everything we've done so far. Put the clock on. Thank you so much for commentating with me. I appreciate it. These are much better with people. Any of the games that... <coughs> pardon me as I decide to kill myself. Any of the games I've done by myself is not as much fun. So thank you so much for bringing me on. It's been a pleasure, man. My good friend Dodo from Germany. Enjoying it. That's good. That's what we're here for. These games have been so much fun. The entire tournament's been so much fun. It's uh, it's just been brilliant. Long may it continue with these brilliant games. How's it going in Chile versus the USA? I believe. The USA are up about five. Yeah, Pure five, five, uh, five zero. Waiting, just a few more. Oh, got it right. All right, here goes the raid. Plus one. All right, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Event. This was fun. Dude, those of you pleasure. It's always fun. 